In 2010, the Associated Press conducted a poll asking Americans whether they favor the legalization of marijuana. In 2010, 33% of the respondents said that they did favor legalization, while 67% said they did not. The Associated Press then repeated this poll in 2013, again asking Americans whether they favor the legalization of marijuana. This time they found that 36% of Americans did favor legalization, while 64% did not. So looking at these two polls, we see a 3% increase in favoring of legalization of marijuana from 2010 to 2013. The problem is that the 2010 poll was based on a survey of only 1,001 people. The 2013 poll was based on a survey of 1,367 people. So really, we don't know how Americans' perception of the legalization of marijuana has changed. All we know is the difference in the responses between these two samples of about 1,000 people. What we really want to know is how all Americans' perceptions of marijuana legalization have changed from 2010 to 2013. And of course, there's no way to know this without polling every single American in both years. So what we can do instead is to construct a confidence interval based on the sample of respondents that we did observe. The confidence interval is the sample measure plus or minus the standard error of the measure multiplied by a critical value. In this case, the sample measure is the difference in the polling results that we saw in 2010 and 2013. In 2010, 33% of respondents favored legalization. In 2013, 36% of respondents favored legalization. That's a difference of three percentage points. The standard error of a difference in sample proportions is the square root of the first proportion multiplied by 1 minus the first proportion divided by the number of observations in the sample, plus the second proportion multiplied by 1 minus the second proportion divided by the number of observations in that sample. In this case, our first sample was in 2010. The sample proportion is 0.33 multiplied by 1 minus 0.33 and divide by the number of observations in our 2010 sample, 1001. Our second proportion comes from the 2013 sample. This is 0.36 times 1 minus 0.36 divided by the number of observations in the second sample, 1,367. Plugging these numbers into our formula gives us a standard error of 0.02. The critical value depends on the degree of confidence we want. Suppose we want to make a 95% confidence statement. Differences in proportions are asymptotically normally distributed. That is, they're normally distributed provided that you satisfy these four requirements, that the number of observations multiplied by the proportion and the number of observations multiplied by 1 minus the proportion is greater than 5 for each of your two samples. In this case, we satisfy all four criteria. If you don't satisfy the criteria, then you need to go collect more data. So the difference in sample proportions is normally distributed. We're looking for the area in the normal distribution that has 95% in the center. The critical value is the number that divides our normal normal distribution so that we have 95% in the center. In this case, it's plus or minus 1.96. So we have a sample measure of 0.03. The standard error of the sample measure is 0.02 and a critical value of 1.96. Putting all of this together gives us the confidence interval on the low end of negative 0.9% and on the high end of 6.9%. So we can now make two statements. The first statement is, in 2010, we surveyed 1,001 people. And in 2013, we surveyed 1,367 people. And across those two samples, the difference in the number of people who favor legalization of marijuana is three percentage points. The other statement we can make is that although we don't know the percentage of all Americans who would favor legalization of marijuana. We do know that there's a 95% chance that the percentage of Americans who would favor legalization of marijuana changed from 2010 to 2013, somewhere between negative 0.9% and 6.9%.